Well, good morning. And we are in what I consider to be one of the best places in Grandma's world at the Santa Barbara Harbor. And I'm getting ready to um, go take a whale watch. Check in later. Do have teeth in their mouth. 
and if they have teeth, they also have echolocation or sonar capabilities. They're able to send out a sound signal through a series of clicks and whistles. I'm sure some of you are hearing it today. And it'll bounce off an object underneath the water and come back to them. And it paints them a very accurate picture of their underwater world. They will also use this echolocation to sound off the schools of fish. They can actually utilize this echolocation to single out a fish out of the group, chase it down, catch it, crush it, and swallow it whole. So again, these common dolphins are part of the Odontosy family. It's different than the whales we're looking for. The whales are part of the Mississippi family. They do not have the echolocation or teeth in their mouth. side of the boat, right beside us. exclusively on small bait fish such as anchovies that would get in great abundance here and humpback whales will feed on both krill which is a small shrimp like creature but a member of the crustacean family and will also feed on bait fish such as anchovies
time out forward left. I think we get have at least two, maybe three humpback whales in the area.
just right to the right of it.
place. just have another humpback whale lunch to eat. About four right on the one o'clock position where all these birds are. So most likely this humpback whale is moving over to the area as well. Like I was saying earlier, the hump or the common dolphins have echolocation, so that's how they find all their food. But these humpback whales being part of the Mississippi family whales, meaning baleen mammals, they have baleen in their mouth and not teeth. They do not have the echolocation. They have both very good hearing and very good eyesight. So most likely heard this other humpback whale feeding and is moving over to the area as well. So keep your eyes up. back out forward left. I believe the first humpback that we're following is just to the right of us underneath all the birds, but we're going to continue following this whale. If you look straight in front of the boat, you can see all the bird activity, all the common dolphins. 
I think this humpback is beelining it straight to that area to start feeding. So pretty cool to see. We typically don't see these humpback whales feeding up on the surface. Typically it's done well below the sea surface. So pretty amazing to get that big lunch feed today.
cool to see another huge launch feed from this humpback whale. Again, this is pretty rare we get to see humpbacks feeding on the surface like this. So cool to see. But like I was saying earlier, these humpback whales are part of the Mississippi family whales, meaning baleen mammals. They do have baleen in their mouth and not teeth. I'm sure today our naturalist showed you a plate of fin whale baleen that we have up on the boat. It's made up of keratin like your hair or your fingernails. And some 400 plates hang down from the roof of the humpback's mouth and act as a strainer. What this humpback is doing today is swimming up through huge schools of fish, open up his mouth, taking in hundreds of gallons of water and food in a single gulp. And they do this by expanding the grooves that line the bottom side of their chin all the way to the mid belly region. We call them their ventral pleats. And we're actually getting to see the ventral pleats expanded today as it's coming up and breaking the surface. And the ventral pleats will expand as it's taking in all this water and food. And then once they're up on the surface, which it's doing today, it will contract its ventral pleats while his mouth is closed, pushing out all the water, but trapping in all the food behind the comb-like baleen, and then using the tongue to lick it off. But this is extremely cool to see, you guys. This does not happen every day. Very, very awesome.
Two humpbacks up on the left, one a lot closer, actually three humpbacks over on the left hand side now. One is kind of back left, then two forward left of us.
group of common dolphins and at least one more humpback caught up with. It's down now, just waiting for it. There has to be a lot of food here to support all this marine life. Like I was saying earlier, humpback whales do show up to the channel to feed. Our population number or stock of humpback whales that we get here in the Santa Barbara Channel is about 2,500 whales. This is a different stock or population that goes between Alaska and Hawaii. Again, ours goes down the areas off of Costa Rica or Sea Cortez, Mexico. Worldwide population of humpback whales, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 100,000. Back whale is just directly behind us now. Looks like we got a little bit of ahead of it. Looks like it's going down the back and left hand side of the boat. So back and left hand. Just dove again.
have at least two on the right and two on the left now, humpback whales. That was a different whale, we haven't seen that one all dark tail. But then at least two more on the right.